Hey guys, here's that uh, 75 Caprice that I'm selling. I've been getting a ton of inquiries about it. Everybody's uh, wanting to see some more detailed pictures of it. So I thought I'd pull it out of the garage here. It was a nice day. Give it a quick rinse down, some of the dust that's been collecting in the garage here. And uh, shoot a little video and show you guys a little bit closer up. Show you guys that, you know, it's uh, it needs a little bit of uh, TLC, but it's... Uh, definitely not uh, a full restoration in a project car like uh, some of you guys might be thinking um, basically put some gas in it and drive it around it's a great cruiser uh, it wouldn't hurt to have a paint job or you know some interior work done but uh, you know it gets a lot of looks everywhere is that I go with it and uh, really requires almost nothing right now just get in and go for a cruise so We'll go inside and check her out. You know, the first thing I get bugged about was uh, these front seats here is how they're ripped up. And, um, you know, I could go ahead and fix them up and patch them up, but, uh, you know, I think I'm going to want to give you guys a good deal and... Uh, you know, it gives you guys the opportunity to either, you know, redo them in the original color or um, end up uh, painting them what, or sorry, not painting them, but uh, reupholstering them in whatever color you want. Uh, one thing here, it's got the uh, Comfortron AC. It does work. I don't know if you guys heard the AC kick in there. But uh, with this one here, you just go ahead and you end up setting the temperature that you want it at, and uh, it automatically moves it over. Right now it's sitting at uh, 56 on the speedometer. I'm sorry that I don't, I can't actually prove that that is original, but, uh, you know, we'll take it as what it's for. That's not the car, that's uh, my neighbor with his angle grinder out there. I don't know what he's up to, but... Uh, and this is the other, the part in the middle of the Caprice, that's the sensor for the Comfortron that senses the temperature inside. Floor mats, that's just water stained. That'll clean, actually I should probably clean, should have cleaned that up before taking this door panels, everything like that in really good shape. The interior down here is the boot that covers the top. It, there's no rips, no nothing in it. Uh, fits nice on the back. Uh, here's the inside of the back. I've got, I took some pictures, I had the top down earlier, I took some pictures of the inside where you can see the top of the wheel wells on how nice and clean they are. Um, up top here, we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead, we'll actually, we'll put the top down, you guys can see how that actually does work. It's got the buttons here, let's go down. Oh, the top does Sorry, we'll just, uh. And uh, while I got the top like this here, I'll show you the windows. This back window is probably the only one that's, uh, whoops, wrong window. All the windows do work. A little on the slow side. But this back window here, when it goes up, It'll go all the way up, but then you've got to play with it a little bit just to slide her back into the groove. So I'm assuming there's something in the track there that's come apart or just needs a good greasing and stuff like that. Um, the other thing does have power trunk. Pop that. Sounds like it just unlocked a big vault. So on the back, these rear flex seams 
have uh, worn away over the years. The other one's not nearly as bad. This side's even worse. But, uh, you know, trunk, you know, as, as clean as I think it can be. Um, These bottom wells here were completely rusted and all replaced and also with the whole quarters being replaced. I don't know if you could see in there where there's a seam where it was cut and replaced. It's got the rear window defogger back there. Uh, all the, the original jack and everything. I do have, I used to have subs in here so I had speaker wires. Uh, there's RCAs and power back here if somebody wishes to use or just throw it out. Open up the hood here. Yeah, on the front corner here, this is the part where I don't know how it's oxidized, the clear off in the corner. When it's wet and washed, it actually looks pretty good. But, uh, you know, there are, you know, things and marks, you know, a little bit everywhere. It's, it's you know, it was a driver car, it wasn't used as a complete show car, so. Now here's the gem of the whole picture. Um, this motor, to my knowledge, I never pulled it out. Um, this is the way I ended up getting the car. It was just, it had rust issues in the quarters and in the front fenders. Uh, but that, that interior, this motor was left as is. You know, runs like a dream, starts up all the time. Has, never caused any problems um, no leaks at all I'll try to show underneath here what you'll see on the driveway leaks from my uh, blazer so don't worry about that and I just washed it so there's water dripping everywhere but uh, you know there's no rust on this thing well minus you know, I'll show you on the side, on the back of the frames, there might be a little bit of surface rust, but it's definitely no, it's not a throwaway, so. So, focus is in here. Here's the bottom of the floor pans. front. See the exhaust and the dry shaft have a little bit of surface rust on them, but you know, all the rocker panels, you know, bottom of the doors, everything's nice and solid. So there you go, guys. Uh, hope you liked what I did here. Uh, Feel free to give me a call, any other questions, anything else I can answer, I'll help you out. And, uh, you know, I'll do everything that I can to make uh, shipping and everything go smoothly for you guys. I know I'm up in Canada, um, but uh, I'm willing to work with you guys to uh, make a good deal here.